Starship, a marvel of modern engineering, has captivated the imagination of space enthusiasts worldwide. But did you know that it's not just civilians who are interested in this behemoth spacecraft? The United States military has its sights set on Starship for reasons beyond interplanetary exploration. They are looking for a mega behemoth of a spaceship to move goods all around the world in just a fraction of the time it takes compared to conventional means. Join us on today's episode of SpaceX Flight as we delve into the Department of Defense's interest in Starship and its potential implications for national security. Before we begin, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit the bell, so you don't miss another awesome episode. And with that, let's get into it. The DoD have been discussing Starship's capabilities at a recent space conference, and also where Starship could play an important role in revolutionizing national security in the United States. Although SpaceX reiterated that military use is not the main purpose of Starship, it certainly fits into one of many secondary use cases for Starship. So what features does Starship attract to military officials? To understand this, you must know that Starship, from its size, cargo capacity, and production speed make it unlike anything built over the last 70 years of spaceflight. One very important feature is the ability to fly goods, cargo, and maybe even troops in the future to anywhere in the world in just 45 minutes. The Pentagon were already envisioning this idea 20 years ago, but Starship with its sheer capability has made this a reality. Gregory Spaniers, chief scientist for the U.S. Air Force Research Lab said, Envision a number of containers sitting in a warehouse down in Cape Canaveral. We go to an alert level. We pull them up. You start putting them on the rocket. He also said, at each suggestive alert level, your time to launch shrinks, shrinks and shrinks, and we can get it down to an hour. Defense teams are already tasked with producing mock-ups and designs as to how efficiently they can use Starship, from its cargo bay to operational aspects. SpaceX with its already impressive feats which has been achieved by no other, was originally meant to reduce the cost of spaceflight, and they have demonstrated this successfully already, with its Falcon 9 fleet, by reducing the cost to just $2,720 per kilogram compared to the high of $54,500 per kilogram on the space shuttle. This has allowed them to offer lower prices than their competitors, but SpaceX isn't stopping there, it is going even further. Starship has been envisioned to offer a starting price of $180 per kilogram, and once the cost savings have been factored in, it can be reduced further to just $18 per kilogram. This is revolutionary in terms of spaceflight, costing 1,000 times less than the next equivalent rocket, the SLS, and even undercutting airplanes, such as the C-17 transporter, the cargo plane of the U.S. military, with just a fraction of the time in transit. SpaceX envisions thousands of Starship's launches per year according to Elon Musk, and to accommodate this capacity, SpaceX is building multiple launch towers at Kennedy Space Center in Florida, Starbase in Texas and plans to build even more. This many launch sites is necessary if the U.S. military wants to meet its ambitions of point-to-point -point transport anywhere across the world. China has been accelerating its space ambitions with warnings from U.S. generals that China is starting to outpace the U.S. by building and testing new rockets, building new launch sites, and accelerating its technological progress. For example, China's Long March 9 rocket is in development and is aiming to be fully reusable, cutting launch costs. Ronald Lurch, a Space Force intelligence analyst, has said, China is moving very, very close. It is full speed ahead in terms of reusability. They aren't just stopping at building their brand new space station in low Earth orbit, the Tiangong. They are planning their crewed lunar landing sometime at the end of the decade. Starship, the new potential military weapon, has given some sense of relief in the eyes of U.S. generals, because, in their words, it is like hitting two birds with one stone, keeping their adversaries all around the world at bay, and if and when Starship is needed, it can be used for supplying combat zones anywhere. That's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and please give your comments below. Your feedback helps us improve and make better videos. If you haven't already please hit the like and subscribe button. And hit the bell, 
so you don't miss another awesome episode. And with that, we'll see you next time.